Let's take a look at our pathfinding tools. Those four shape modes uh, is what I'll talk about. For now, let's leave our sketch alone for a second and make two um, circles. This one and this one. Let's color them so that we can see the difference. This one is in the front and this one is in the back. Okay, so now um, the first one is Unite. If we click that, we will get one uh, shape covered by both of these circles. And of one color, of course. You can manipulate anchor points um, hold as much as you want to. And this is just one shape. And that's it. Let's control C. Okay, back to our two shapes. Now the minus front one uh, works like a cookie cutter. So this one is in the front. If I subtract it from the yellow circle, I will get this shape. But the blue circle will be gone if I am going to use it later on for anything else, then I should first make a copy of it. So Control C, Control Shift V, select the yellow and the blue in the front and click the minus front button. Now I get this shape. Um, let's go back. Okay. Now this one intersect, it will render the area covered by both circles at the same time, so this little part. Like that. And the last one, uh, exclude, it will uh, create two shapes, um, this yellow part and this blue part. It will basically remove this um, area of overlap. Uh, you will get a group out of it. If you ungroup it, you will see that you have two shapes here. That's kind of what you need to know about pathfinding. So, now to give you an example, let's zoom in here and come back to our sketch. Let's make a ribbon, so P for pen. Slightly curved. I don't really care about the quality of this ribbon, so I would say that's close enough. So let's color it too. And the stroke should be black, and this should be black as well. Like that. Okay. So let's copy this shapes first. Control-C, Control-Shift-V, let's make sure, yep. Um, so I want this ribbon to be confined by this hat, I don't want these pieces to be here. But I also don't want to try and rebuild this path uh, because it will be difficult to make them ideal. So instead, um, like I said, we're, we'll just use the Pathfinder tool. And let's use intersect. It gives us exactly this piece. I can delete the original shape. And here we go. It's perfect. It completely aligns with the head. It doesn't exceed it and it's not shorter anywhere. So that's kind of you work with things. That's how you um, build things, that's how you work with your sketch, you just kind of build rough shapes, then manipulate the um, curves uh, and the handles, and then uh, use the pathfinding tools to make your life easier, not to rebuild segments of curves that you already have.